what is up Prince squad I'm back with another video and today I'm doing something that is long overdue so if you want to see how it turns out stay tuned okay a while back if you guys remember I broke my T square it and the T square that I had was actually the original one like the first one that came out many many years ago that they no longer sell so I had uh, a person that sent me one and I ended up using that one and I ended up breaking it also so uh, what I have right here and right here all of these are parts to T squares these two T squares it's like this middle part is from the T square that that person sent me this one is the original T square it and this is a part that I broke off of the one that was sent to me as you see right here and this is the part that I broke off right here of my original T-square. So today, even though it's long overdue and I should have already fixed this, and the reason that I'm wanting to fix it, and instead of just keep using the one that I've been using, is because this one is slightly, the, the one that I was seeing is slightly thinner. So it's a space right here. So it kind of like shifts. As you can see right here, it. So, you know, it's kind of hard to get it lined it up just perfectly. But, you know, it usually does close enough. But I like the stuff to be as close to perfect as I can get it. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be using this right here. It's some JB Well. And it's actually, it says clear well. It's supposed to be the clear kind. I don't, I'm not thinking it's going to be too clear. Because it kind of looks a little yellow. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up and, um, Follow the instructions because you have to like mix it together and then you have to apply it that way. Hopefully it'll be clear enough, but it, you know, it looks a little bit yellowish looking, but maybe it'll dry clear. But I'm going to go ahead and open it up and do everything and let you guys see how everything turns out. Hopefully I can get it back working and I can use my original t squared again. Okay, so I have everything. I'll move everything that I don't need out of the way but i have everything right here lined up and i have newspaper like a few layers of newspapers because i'm you i'm doing it on top of my heat press as you see right here so i'm going to um go ahead and i have already cleaned this off and everything like the instructions say so now i'm gonna go ahead and open this and then mix everything together Alright, it says that it uh, sets in five minutes, so hopefully it will be set. Uh, it's 528. You know, try to keep it attached. And it does seem like it's pretty clear. I did get a little excess in some areas. I'm going uh, to go ahead and wash my hands because you're not supposed to get this stuff on your hands. I should have used gloves. Okay, look, while I was washing my hands, it fell. So I'm going to have to redo the whole thing over. And this time I'm going to hold it. I'm going to use gloves and I'm going to hold it the whole time. Since this part was kind of heavy and it kept falling off, I went ahead and took it off. So hopefully this will help it uh, do what it's supposed to do better. 
it's been about five minutes so hopefully you know everything will work out with this hopefully it's on here and I'm gonna leave it overnight and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and check everything out and I'll let you guys know how it goes from there all right print squad I'm back it's the next day it's not exactly 24 hours but we're gonna test this thing out anyway and see but here it is right here and as you can see it did actually dry clear i kind of got some you know in areas it wasn't supposed to be but yeah it kind of dried clear and i'm thinking it's gonna work don't want to move it too much move it around too much but i'm gonna go ahead and um and put it back together make sure everything is lined up straight and everything and hopefully everything will work out pretty good for it so i'm gonna go ahead and uh put the screws back in it Okay, so far, it's seeming like it's as good as new. And I can take my thing and put it back on here. I actually put it on here backwards, y'all. Look what I did. Let me redo it and fix it. I'm gonna come back to the video once I fix this. Okay, so now I have everything on correctly. The numbers are both facing the correct way. Everything everything is right on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and make sure I put this on correctly. Okay, yeah, so I have my original T-squared back. Um, in a little bit, I'm gonna be printing some shirts uh, using the T-squared. So maybe I can, you know, kind of show it off on this video. If not, I'll end it here. Whew, this has been a hectic day. I got, uh, got this one shirt that I'm going to print and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and add this in so you guys can see that my the t-square that I fixed is working I'm just right now I'm just let me back up so I can see I'm just uh you know getting the moisture and wrinkles out of the shirt okay so I'm gonna grab the vinyl over here on the other side right quick be right back all right Gotta weed these numbers. I'm not gonna weed on camera, shorter video, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, weed it. All right, I got two, a front and a back to do. Okay, the front is just this picture right here and the back is the name and number. So here's the front. As you see, it's lined up. It's lined up well. And here's the back. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on my future videos. And if you're interested in any of the products or equipment that I use in my videos, I will leave links down below so y'all be sure to check those out. And I will see you in the next video. Print Squad out. And that's all I got for you. I already did this video one time. Print Squad out.